Triggers and Loving Lovers. How the devil are you, chaps and chapesses of the world? Okay, and today we have this kind of like funky thing going on. Um, I felt a little bit of funk, so I thought I'd do that today. And the way that we're going to approach that is we're going to come to the seventh fret on the E string with your index finger, like fussily. Oh, so Daisy over to pick up. There you go. Okay, and then you're going to come to the ninth fret on the D string with your ring finger. Okay, it's all about rhythm and the phrasing of this one, but I'll go into that in a minute. So we have boom. Then you're going to come down to the seventh fret on the G string with your index finger. So we have, yeah, bomb. It that itself is quite funky, isn't it? Okay. Anyway, um, we're going to add to that. So bum 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 bum. Okay. So you're then going to come to the seventh fret on the D string with your index finger, and then the eighth fret of the D string with your middle finger, and then the ninth fret of the D string with your ring finger. So we have. Okay, and then you're gonna do this kind of like slower run up, so that's probably half a time of. That's right, yep, okay. Uh, so you're then gonna to come to the seventh fret on the A string in your index finger. You can do the exact same thing as you did the string, string below. Uh, eighth fret on the A string with your middle finger, ninth fret on the A string with your ring finger. So we have all together. Okay, and we're gonna finish it off by going to the seventh fret on the D string with your index finger once, like thusly. Okay, so we have. And that's it, my friends. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I shall see you in tomorrow's lesson.